Hello there. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Coach Mel, and you are coming to me. To, I'm coming to you live <laughs> from Coach Mel's for Fitness here in Harrington, Connecticut. So uh, this whole week we've had a theme of giving you a little snippet of a class that we actually teach here at the studio. We are completely uh, virtual right now because of the COVID-19. Um, and what I'm going to give you today is part of our boot camp. So this is actually one round out of what would be five rounds that we would do for a 45 minute class that would be done here in the studio or virtually. This is actually the workout that we did in our 6.30 class this morning. I am not gonna use weights to show you this. Feel free to use weights. Um, it doesn't, you, you can absolutely do it either way, with or without. So we'll start with a little warm up. And then like I said, we're gonna do one round, we're gonna have uh, moves at 40 seconds, then we're going to do a leg move, arm move, a core move, we'll be down on the floor, we'll go through that a second time, and then we finish with a cardio move. Typically, we would then go to round two, round three, round four, round five, which would be all different uh, strength, cardio, and core moves. All right, let's get ourselves jogging and get a little bit of a warm-up going here. Good. We're just going to do a quick warm up. We're going to do uh, one lower body move on one side, then we'll do it on the other side. We're just do a little tick tock here, kick that leg out, out and out. And then we will do an upper body move. And then, like I said, we'll get down to the floor for a core move. We'll repeat it. And then we'll do a little cardio move. Good. Let's get some squats here. Just nice and easy. Sitting back into those heels. Just warming things up a little bit. All right, let's get a nice little row going here. Big arm circles, one side and then the other. Warming up those shoulders. And let's switch it around and go to the other direction. Make sure you're getting a rotation in your hips, in your shoulders here. Let's get a nice side bend, up and over, up and over. And last one. All right, so we are gonna have a timer for this. I'm gonna get that timer going. I'll bring you quickly through the first few moves that we're gonna do, all right? <laughs> I didn't realize it, but I still haven't gone through my speaker. So we're going to do a side lunge. We're going to come side, halfway up, all the way back down, and then up. We're going to stay on that side for 40 seconds. Here we go. It's down, halfway up, down, all the way up to straight legs. Down, halfway up, down, and up. Weight is in the heel of that foot. Knee is directly over that ankle and foot. We are halfway and push it up. Push up through that heel. You want to feel that squeeze, burn in the quad. Down, up, down, all the way up. Down, up. We got time for one more. Down, up, and all the way up. All right, let's bring that over to the other yes. side. We're going to do the same thing. We're going right into it. One cycle, two. And up, down, push through that heel, really squeezing. Again, you can use weights. If you had weights, I'd be holding them here, and they'd go on either side of my knee as I went into that hinge. Scooping back through the hips, all the weight in that heel, and push up off of that heel. Squeeze halfway, down, all the way. Down, up halfway, down all the way. And we got time for one more and a quick little rest. All right, so we're just going to transition, yes. bring those feet underneath your hips, little hinge, palms are facing up, and we're going to pull. And you're going to squeeze through the shoulder blades as you pull here. Nice long line from your head all the way down your back. And I'm squeezing through the center, squeezing my shoulder blades. Opening the chest up on that squeeze. Weight is in my heels. I'm giving a squeeze up the back of the legs as well. <sighs> Exhale.
exhale. On that up. Good. We've got seven more seconds here. We're going to make our way down to the floor for some butterfly crunches. All right. Come on up. You're going to put those feet together. And just behind the ears. And we're going to push our, our chin up towards the ceiling. Keep those knees out nice and wide. Low back, press into the mat. Exhale on the up. Keep that going. Keep that low back pressed into the mat. We're going to go right to that buzzer. All righty. Nice. All right. So we're going to take a little 20-second break here. We're going to bring ourselves back up. We're going to repeat those same moves. We're going to do side lunge, side lunge, rows, and our butterfly crunches. All right, get yourself out. Toes are facing forward. Good position here. Coming on over to that side and push up. Hinge down, push up. Remember, we're pushing through the heel, squeezing on the way up. Keep the shoulders up as much as you can. There will be a little bit of a hinge at the waist as you come over to that side and push up, hinge, and up. Weight in that heel. You should be able to wiggle your toes. There shouldn't be any weight on those toes. Big exhale as you're coming up and squeezing. We've got four, three, two, the last one. We're gonna go over to the other side, doing that same thing. Here we go, right into it. Hinge one, one, and push up. Two. So as I mentioned at the start of this, this is a boot camp that we would normally do here. Now, since we went viral, or viral, no. Yeah. Since we went virtual, uh, it's a little bit different. Normally we would have stations set up here in the studio and you would move from station to station. The format was a little bit different. But I do have to say that when we switched over to this format for the virtual, everyone's really enjoying it. So, sometimes change is a good thing. And rest. All right. We're going to bring those rest. feet in under the hips. Bend and hinge. Palms out. Cycle three. I'm giving a fist a squeeze as I pull up. So you're squeezing through the center of your back. Weight is in your heels so that you're squeezing up the back of your legs. You're also getting a little squeeze to the bicep as you pull those hands back. Squeeze that bicep too. Exhale on that squeeze, really pulling those shoulder blades together. Open the chest. I like to pause right there for a moment. We've got three, two, and one, come on back down to the floor. Bottoms of your feet together. Lifting that chin up towards the ceiling, shoulders off the mat. I'm not pulling on my neck. Pressing that belly button into the spine. Exhale, on the up. Big exhale, push that belly button in. Keep it in, even as you relax those shoulders down for a moment. Keep that back, press into the mat the whole time, and resting. All right, Next. so T-Jacks. We have a 20 second break, and now we go into 40 seconds of T-Jacks. So T-Jacks for Tony, Tony Horton um, is as we jack out, arms are up in front, we come down, and we go out, and we go down. And there it goes. Out and out. Forward and out. Now you can do this as a step. If you don't want the impact of that jump, still very effective. Keep a slight bend in the knees. Out and out. Or you can jump it. It's a little bit of a brain teaser here. You've got to think about which direction those arms are going. 
Good. We've got 10 more seconds here. And four, three, two, last one. All right. I'm going to stop this timer, otherwise it's going to keep going. Because like I said, that was just a portion of the boot camp that we do here at the studio. It's a 45-minute class. We're going to take just a minute, catch our breath. We'll do a little bit of stretching. We'll be on our way for the day. All right. Let's stretch that inner thigh a little bit. We just did a lot of work on that glute. Come on over to the side. We're just going to hold it there for a moment. You want to feel it in this inner thigh. Hold it there, hold it there. More of a hinge forward. You may feel that stretch a little bit more. Don't be afraid about hinging forward on this one. Good. Over there. All right, bring yourself up to the center. Reach those arms out, straight legs flat back, and then bring yourself down slowly. We're going to bring ourselves up just halfway. Hands right above the knees. Roll that shoulder forward. One of my favorite stretches. Just feels good. And roll that forward on the other side. All right. Come on up. I'm rolling up. Let's stretch that back out for a moment. So hands out in front, head down. Pull apart on your hands. Separate your shoulder blades. Feel a nice stretch back there. All right, and let's get a nice side bend and hold. Let's go over to the other side. And relax. So that was just one round out of five rounds that we would do if we did the full 45 minute class um, at Coach Mel's. Each round is set up the same way. There's a lower body move, an upper body move, a core move. You go through that twice, and then you do the one cardio move at the end of going through that the second time. So if you'd like more information about Coach Mel's, please check out my website. It is coachmels.com. If you want information about joining us in our virtual classes right now, um, you can either email me through the website or shoot me an email at mel at coachmels, with an S, dot com. I will put some information uh, in the links in the description. If you are watching me on YouTube, thank you so much for being here. Please hit push my logo button down there to subscribe. And if you push on the little bell, you will get notifications every time I come to you with a new workout. I also do crochet videos on that channel as well. So thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you back here again real soon. Have a wonderful day, everyone.